All right. Let's look a little bit more in detail of how to participate in the discussions. In your course menu on the left-hand side, click the Discussions tab and then go to Group Discussion Board. Here you can see the Create a Forum button and you can also see different forums that have already been created. Usually your professor will create the Forum of the Week and in there reply to the discussion. Here you can see that Dr. Millman has started us off with the first post and you can see the unread posts and replies. By clicking on Dr. Millman's message, all I need to do is click reply. Once I finish Dr. Millman's reply, I can change the font, font size, or any other formatting that I'd like to change from this top menu. I can also add a local file from my computer and I can save the draft here if I'm still not done or I can go ahead and submit. It's advised to first type your reply in the word processing program, such as Word or Google Docs, and then paste it into this reply box. That way you can catch any errors, also avoid your post getting deleted if the internet goes down for any reason. Go ahead and click Submit, and there you can see it was a success. We posted a reply to Dr. Millman. If you want to reply to another student, then you would click the reply on that student's name. I'd change the subject, subject line. Once you finish your message, if you want to browse your local files, or you can click submit. And then there's the reply to the student that you replied to. So here you can see Dr. Millman's post in gray. This is the original thread question or post then I replied to her so my post will be aligned to the left along with hers. Now since my second reply was a reply to myself it will be slightly indented and you can see that it's coming out of my original post and the more students reply to that person the more it will indent. You can hide the replies by clicking here and you can also expand all or collapse all. So if you collapse all, you see the original person that posted and their original title of their post, but you don't see the replies to that person. If you expand all, you'll see the original person that posted and then you can show their replies as well. If you want to see all of your unread messages, set some flags, maybe you thought a post was interesting and you want to get back to it later, you can do that in the message actions by clicking on the message and setting the flag or clicking on the message and maybe I want to say it's unread so that I can read it again later when I have more time that'll show up here. You can turn on the flag and turn off the flag as you wish. So this is how you create a thread in the main discussion forum. You can click here, create thread, give a subject to your thread, and go ahead and type in your response. Once you're finished typing, go ahead and submit or save if you're still not done. And then you will see another thread was created on top of Dr. Millman's original thread. If we'd like to search in this thread, we can click the search button, type in a keyword or someone's name, and then I can see my posts come up. Hope it goes well. Mm -hmm.